My name's Gemma Swain and I'm a student speech language pathologist at Macquarie University. Today I'll be talking to you about what causes stuttering. Specifically, I'll be using the PNA model to describe to you the cause of stuttering. Before we delve into the PNA model, let's go over what stuttering is. Stuttering is an interruption to the usually flowing rhythm of speech. It occurs without control, and people who stutter often state that they know what they want to say, they just can't get it out. A stutter can be a repetition of a sound or a word. It can be a prolongation or a block. Extra features can occur with a stutter, such as a facial twitch or a body movement. What's important to remember is that for each person, stuttering presents itself in a unique way. For centuries, researchers have been trying to uncover the cause of stuttering. Still, the cause is not yet fully understood. Many theories and models have been proposed in order to try and explain the cause of stuttering, one of which is the PNA model. Before I delve into this model further, it's really important to understand that there is not one generally agreed model about the cause of stuttering. These theories cannot always be proven or disproven, so caution should be taken when researching this area. Pacman and Atanasio recently developed the PNA model, which states that there are three factors that could potentially cause a stutter. So, let's have a look at these three factors. Firstly, the PNA model states that for a stuttering moment to occur, the brain must be functioning slightly differently. This draws on recent brain research, which found that for those who stutter, the speech motor system, the area of our brain which processes speech, is structured and functions slightly differently. The precise nature of this difference is not clearly defined. While the speech motor system may be functioning slightly differently, this is not to say the brain as a whole is functioning differently. The brain is a complex organ with different areas controlling and processing different things. So, while your speech motor system may be a little different, your emotional areas, cognition, memory stores, are all functioning fine, which I'm sure you are aware. The model does state that the speech motor system in those who stutter is more influenced by triggers in spoken language, which is our next factor. The PNA model states that for a stuttering moment to occur, there must be a trigger in spoken language. So, what is a trigger? For stuttering, a trigger is something that occurs in spoken language that places higher demands on the speech motor system, the one that we just discussed. More specifically, syllable stress and linguistic complexity are triggers in spoken language that can cause a stuttering moment. We can think of syllable stress as emphasis. When the emphasis varies, like sell my car, there are higher demands placed on the speech motor system. For this reason, syllable stress is thought to be a trigger for a stuttering moment to occur. Linguistic complexity refers to when an utterance becomes more complex. These utterances are longer, contain more information, and have a more complex structure. They are also thought to be a trigger for a stuttering moment to occur. Okay, so far we have our slightly altered speech motor system and the triggers that can place higher demands on this system. Now we have come to our last factor that can cause a stuttering moment. For each individual, there is a triggering threshold. For a stuttering moment to occur, a trigger has to break through this threshold and interrupt the speech motor system. This threshold will vary from person to person and will also change dependent upon their current situation. Emotions such as excitement, fear, anxiety will all change the threshold level. Another thing that can change a threshold level is multitasking. If you're doing two or more things that relate to language, such as talking and typing, this can lower your threshold level and result in more stuttering moments. Once a trigger breaks through this threshold level, it will interrupt the speech motor system and then a stuttering moment will occur. To sum it all up, this model states that for a stuttering moment to occur, Triggers in spoken language break through an individual's threshold. This threshold can be altered due to modulating factors, such as your current emotional state. Once broken through, these triggers disrupt the speech motor system, resulting in a moment of stuttering. 
Remember, this is just one of many theories aiming to describe the cause of stuttering. If you would like to find out more, you can talk to your speech language pathologist. Thank you for taking the time to watch this presentation. I hope it has been interesting and informative for you.